Look, this is not how we wanted Nintendo to do things. I can't tell you anything except I wish Nintendo handled their summer better. I wish they had a general direct. I wish that they gave us more information. I wish they updated us on Mario Kart and Switch Online and Breath of the Wild 2, but they didn't. What they did do is announce a partner showcase. And I have some thoughts. You may not want to hear them, but I think it's important to listen to. So good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. This month has been a pain in the neck. Some people go gray. My hair grows when Nintendo stresses me out. Today they had their partner showcase for 2022. No month on there, so we assume it's the only one. Thank gosh. One thing I know we can agree on is that the Switch does not have enough internal storage. That's why memory cards are so important. And my friends at Lexart make the best one, the Play Card. It's perfect because it goes up to one terabyte. It can store literally every game shown today and then some, and then some, and then every game shown in the next rec. So make sure to click the link in the description down below. Every time you click, it helps support the channel. Check out the memory cards. They are the best, safest, fastest, and beefiest memory cards you can give your Switch so you never have to worry about storage again. Now look. I went in expecting to hate today's show. My hype level was super low. I kept expectations so far in check, it felt like I was wearing Nike from head to toe. Look, this wasn't supposed to be very good. We knew it was going to be a bummer. We understood the agenda. And that made today better for me. Like going in so under, already underwhelmed, you know, I thought it would be horrible, and and it wasn't. It just, I don't think there's any way you can say today was horrible. Anyhow, this show today featured a cavalcade of games, including a four-minute trailer for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Let me be clear, that is stupid. We don't need four of the 25 minutes to be for a game that's out in two days and that you've had multiple trailers for and that Capcom has had multiple separate directs for. It's overkill. And yes, there was no Zelda, there was no Mario, but wait, there was Mario. And that's where the tide began to turn. Because for me, I think this was the best partner showcase they've ever had, hands down, not even close. Now I know, we want Donkey Kong and Metroid Prime and Mario Kart and more, and we never were going to get it today. So as mean as it sounds, I mean it with the utmost love, I think we need to step back and stop whining about this partner showcase. I wish Nintendo would handle their business differently. I wish they would have had a direct. Maybe they will have a direct in July, a general. Maybe they will in September. I don't know. Maybe they'll have no more this year. But eventually we'll find out about Metroid Prime Remastered. That much seems for sure. Eventually we'll find out more about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. That has to happen. And eventually we will, yes, get Mario Kart booster passes for the second wave, the third wave, the fourth wave, and we will get Breath of the Wild 2. Those will happen. They will also do an indie world where maybe we'll find out Sports Story and Hollow Knight actually are coming out at some point. But for today, if it's called Partner Showcase and we take it at face value, this was a very good Partner Showcase. Barring the leaked release date yesterday, Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope getting Bowser playable, free movement and combat that looks sick, and an October launch, beautiful. Music to my ears, especially when we had a rumor that Mario plus Rabbids was going to be delayed till 2023. No! Mario was in a partner showcase. They managed to pull it off. That's pretty sick. There's another Mario presentation tomorrow, Mario plus Rabbids from Ubisoft in the morning, and we should get more details there. From there, they went on and talked about Persona. Persona has been a big wish for Switch fans since the beginning. Remember all those surveys we filled out? Remember how we bought Strikers and those other games because we were hoping they would hear us? They heard us. The rumors said that three and four were coming, but not five Royal. Not good for Switch. Boom, disproven. Five Royal on Switch, day and date with Xbox and Steam, October 21st. That is now a must play Switch game. Persona 5 Royal Portable is awesome. For third parties, given what Nintendo does, you knew they weren't gonna do Madden. You knew they weren't gonna bring God of War or Halo. It's not possible. The third parties they have access to they did a really good job. Okay, Portal, phenomenal games, and this was a double whammy of goodness, not only because there's two in the collection, it's out today, stealth drop at the Partner Showcase, and it's 20 bucks. That's the way you do value. You don't charge 60 for these old games. 
you say, hey, these are great games. You haven't played them. Amazing to be able to play this. Play it portably. Come on. It's going to be sick. And it's 20 bucks and it's out today. Okay, Live Alive got a demo today and a treehouse. Nintendo's doing a treehouse. They post a 40 minute treehouse. That means anything's on the table. Mario Kart could get announced on Twitter this week. Metroid Prime could get announced at a treehouse. Anything is possible because Nintendo is operating from a position of absolute chaos. <laughs> they have chosen chaos, like that Square Enix game. And Square Enix had an exclusive, Harvest Stella. Whether you're a fan of farming or not, that looks like it's going to be a Switch exclusive, and multiple games are coming to Switch first. The Annapurna title, and there was one other. Something else is coming to Switch console first. Oh, the, the new Monkey Island. Return to Monkey Island is Switch first. They secured exclusives, they secured early looks, and they even secured early access. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time Switch got early access with the new Disney Animal Crossing. It's not for everybody, definitely not for most of you, but if you're an AC fan, you like Disney, that's a sick looking game and we get to play early access later this year. Now, if you're a little more hardcore and you're a little bit older like me, let's talk about Mega Man Battle Network. There are 10 games, didn't even know that. 10 Mega Man Battle Networks are coming to Switch. It was a bit of a bait and switch when they showed the Game Boy Advance. I was like, ooh, no. I still think that happens. The emulator is a real thing. We're gonna get a Switch Online announcement some point soon. So that still is in the cards, but these cards, Battle Network cards, pretty sick. Battle Network is phenomenal. I had so much fun when I was a kid. I think they're gonna shine on the OLED and I hope they hold up. That collection hits in 2023. And this is the best Mega Man platform of all time. It's got all of them. The Zero games, the X games, the originals, the Battle Network, the new 11, a fantastic lineup. Capcom was present, Square Enix was present. There were some interesting smaller games like Blanc, a Fox, and a fawn hanging out together. No reading involved. That's a great game to chill with. Online and local co-op. All right, there was just sort of that segment of like, do we really need Super Bomberman R2? Do we really need more JRPGs? In a year we have like 3,000 JRPGs and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is out in a month. There were moments where it was like, eh. But for a partner showcase, let me remind you before it was WWE and Rhythm. It was WWE and Rhythm, and this one had Portal, Persona, Mario plus Rabbids, Dragon Quest Treasures, and more. Dragon Quest Treasures could be really cool. Minecraft Legends is confirmed for Switch. We didn't know that. I expected it, but that's Microsoft, Atlas, Ubisoft, Square Enix, all at this showcase with Capcom Kicker. Pretty neat. Pretty good. I, wanna, I want the crying to stop. I wish Nintendo did things differently too. But with this showcase... They delivered one heck of a partner showcase. There's a demo out later today. There's a treehouse supporting it. Portal's out now. It's really, really nice. I don't know what Little Noah is, but that's also out. Yeah, they showed Rail Guard or Railway or whatever. Ugh. But Nintendo's going to Nintendo. Even in the general directs, there is a section of games where we're like, why did that deserve a trailer? Why did that deserve shine? Here, I feel like they were judicious. They didn't show too many of those like roll your eye games. There were some, but it was the best balance yet. And look, if I told you, think of it this way. If I told you Nintendo was going to have another Direct and they will talk about Mario, Metroid, Zelda, would you feel better about today? Because let me tell you, Nintendo will have another Direct where they talk about Mario, Zelda, Metroid. They will. It will happen. Maybe July, maybe September, maybe December. I don't know. But we will find out about those games. And so... I'm a positive guy. I don't know. Maybe this is just my wacko brain. I'm thinking of this whole big picture. I'm thinking of this more than just today, June 28th. I'm thinking of this Nintendo's entire plan. This was a good partner showcase. If they would just let us know their plan, this would all be solved. If they were like, hey, we have a Splatoon Direct in August. We've got a Pokemon Showcase in July. And we've got a new Direct in September. We would feel fine. We'd say, okay, this is where the third parties come in. Oh, okay. Now we can appreciate this better. And I love that we got a third party showcase with Mario. They managed to squeeze it in. And I'm telling you, that game looks sick. It's going to get brushed over because Mario plus Rabbids 1 was good. It looks kind of the same, but it's not. The world is bigger. Okay. The battles are more freeform and the character lineup and theme is so much stronger. Remember, the theme of Mario plus Rabbids 1 was Rabbid World Gone Wild. There were giant toilets. There's still rabbits in this game, but the theme of this game is Mario Galaxy. Boom. That's sexy. That's awesome. And it looks like they've made the requisite improvements to earn themselves a true two, a true sequel. Something that Splatoon 3 needs to prove to us soon. There could be another treehouse. There could be a Splatoon Direct. I feel nice. Okay, 
Portal coming out is great. I really thought we'd get a Hollow Knight date. We didn't. But there's probably an indie world. They almost always have an indie world in August. And I'm going to stop relying on patterns because Nintendo doesn't believe in patterns. That's what this June proved. But we know that eventually these games will get talked about. Eventually we'll find out when Hollow Knight's releasing. And Sports Story. It'll happen. So for today, it wasn't... It didn't have all the games I love. Nothing there really like screamed to me, but almost all of them were physical. Persona 5 is getting a physical version, it seems like. Plague Tale is Cloud, but that was it. Plague Tale Requiem is Cloud. I'm glad we have another system. Cloud sucks. It's just the fact of Cloud. It's poopy. But everything else seemed to be locked in on the system, and we got the final confirmation that Persona is here. All of it. Three, four gold, and five royal. People didn't think that was going to happen. We wished for ages, did surveys and tweets and campaigns and please, dear Atlas, and, and now it's happening. Persona Portable is happening. Portal Portable is happening. Mario Rabbids 2 is happening. Square Enix has an exclusive farming battle game. It's happening. Dragon Quest Treasures, it's happening. Monster Hunter is getting a massive expansion and a bunch of content. It's happening. They delivered a pretty darn good showcase. Now, do I miss Zelda? Do I miss Metroid? Do I miss Mario? Yeah. Big picture, this was a partner showcase. I still would rather have a general. I still expect Nintendo to show up. I still need more than what's announced. And Twitter is gonna be a resource. Mario Kart is coming on Twitter, I'm telling you. Game Boy is possibly coming on Twitter. We could get Bayonetta 3 on Twitter. Bayonetta 3 is probably the notable missing for today. So look, you can feel however you want. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know your rating for today. But I'd give this a strong seven out of 10. And that is way better than the two out of tens that the past partner showcases got. And honestly, it's the best we were going to get. There was nothing horrible. There was no, oh, they didn't add anything. They added quality franchises to the Switch lineup. Classic games, new games, beloved franchise. Other consoles have them. Now we do too. They did a good job. So stop whining because you wish that this was a general. It wasn't. That'll happen one day. We'll find out. In the meantime, I had a good time today. Let me know if you did as well. Thanks so much for watching. Go play Portal. Those games are amazing. If you haven't played them, $20 is great value. I think you'll like it a lot. Uh, the Live Alive demo, I'll check it out. And I'll keep you posted if there's more Treehouses, any updates on a July Direct, a September Direct, if we hear anything about that. But right now, Nintendo did a weird butt June. They really did. It was a weird, weird June. And I didn't like it. But they make the decisions, not us. And what they gave us today... Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Hope you dig the hair. Until next time, Switch Force, out.